So now we're going to do what's called the fishbowl activity. Um, some of you might be familiar with this from being at Camp Healing Hearts. Um, it's something I know we did at least last year and have for a few years. Um, but this is for day two of healings and coping. And this is a way to kind of show visually some of how it might feel inside with our feelings. Um, you can feel free to do this activity at home um, with uh, supervision of an older adult, parent or guardian. Um, what you need is food coloring, uh, clear. Um, this is a giant vase that I have, um, some regular water, and then this is two containers that have bleach. Um, so it's one part water, two parts bleach. So you take the water, I'm gonna put it inside our vessel here. And what the different colors are here is to re represent the different um, feelings that we might have. Um, for those of you who went through and read the book, um, or watched me reading the book about um, the waves with grief and the different colors, um, you can do the same type of thing with those or whatever you feel um, is applicable to how you're feeling, the color that matches it. Um, if you did not watch that video, feel free. It's additional um, video that you can watch. Um, as I said, throughout this is any of these videos are for any age. Um, so feel free to watch that and come back to this if you'd like to. So some of the feelings that people tell me that they often have, and that I've even have, is a lot of sadness. So I'm gonna use blue. Um, some of you might have seen the movie Inside Out and the emotion sadness, she is blue. Um, quite a few people tell me they feel angry. So red is often associated with anger. Um, again, the movie Inside Out shows that too. And so did the book um, that we read earlier. Uh, for some people, fear can be green. I know in the movie Inside Out, it's disgust is green, um, but I'm gonna use it for fear just the worries that we have of what might happen to us, um, other people who are taking care of us, what's gonna happen, how things might change. And then this is like a yellowish orange color. I'm using that for happiness because sometimes we do still feel happy while we're going through things in life. Even though we're grieving, we're still living our life and going through different things. So you feel free to put in you know, if there's a couple of you doing it at home, you can each take turns putting it in to represent the different colors for your feelings or mix them. Or if you have more options at home, go ahead and use those. Once you're done, um, come back to this and we'll move forward with the second part. So the second part with this is now, as we saw before, the water was completely clear. So that represented us before um, our special person had died. Then this is all the emotions related to our feelings since that loved one has died. And now what we're gonna do is talk about what a lot of our next part today is, is around coping. So the bleach that we have here is to represent different things that we do to cope to help us with the emotions we're feeling. So just be very careful with this. Mm -hmm. So this can represent maybe doing something physical going for a walk, um, running, jogging, dancing, um, aerobics, gymnastics, uh, any sport that you might be into, like soccer, basketball, baseball, uh, field hockey, lacrosse, any of those. A lot of people find those to be helpful. Um, it could be yoga is another good one. Um, it's a physical activity, but it also there's deep breathing. Deep breathing is a very good way to help you relax. Um, it's an additional activity for those of you who are not in the oldest group. Um, you can feel free to look through. There's a guided breathing exercise that I have available. It could also be that you like to draw, sing, Maybe you talk about what you're feeling, what you've been thinking, um, write a story about it, um, doing the activities that we have provided. Uh, one of the things that you'll see in your toolkit that is in your backpack is a stress ball. It's a little round ball. 
Um, it has different sayings on it and different colors. You can squeeze that. Some people find doing that to help them relax. So what you'll continue to do is talk about different things that might help you, or and if you're doing this with other people, things that might help them um, to help you cope with the different feelings that you're having, um, to help you express them so they're not just sitting inside of you. Um, because the hope is with coping, um, what we're gonna see is over time, this is going to get lighter. So right now, um, after being crystal clear water before our special person died, now it's all muddled, all mixed together, kind of dark looking, it's hard to look through it, hard to get through. So we put in to this our different coping to help us lighten it. So what we're gonna see is over time, this is gonna get lighter and lighter. Um, so go ahead and continue if you did this at home to leave this around sitting for a little bit while you do more activities. Um, I'm going to have the video continue showing you what it'll look like after so much time. Um, but if you're doing this, I want you to know it's not gonna be an immediate thing, it takes time, um, which is very representative of how you are right now. So it takes time with your feelings as you're adding in these things to help you cope with them for them to start getting better. So it's been about a minute and you can see it's starting to lighten. It's getting a little clearer there. Darker bits are kind of hanging out at the bottom. So now it's been going on about five minutes and you can see it's pretty orange-like now. Just a little bit of the blue on the bottom. So it's showing that it's getting a lot clearer. It's not as cloudy as it was initially. So now it's been going on just about close to, not quite, but close to 10 minutes. And you can see it's gotten even lighter. It's getting to be a little more yellow. So this is something that some people have found that if you keep it out for a couple of hours, it might get even clearer but it will never be as clear as it was before we put all the different colors in it. And the idea of that is to show that we were clear with no different emotions before our special person died. Then when our special person died, all these different feelings we had got mixed in together and made it very difficult to see through. By adding in our coping, it helps us look through and see better knowing that we're still impacted by the death of our special person, but we're able to move onward and be hopeful again by using these things to help us cope.